for one fall with a 15 minute time limit. You got Giddy. I got Giddy. Giddy up, man. We're ready for a downright brutal battle. I heard that dog barking. I thought it was your ex-girlfriend, John. <laughs> shoot comments that are not to be shoot comments. Here comes the bulldog. And you're very right. Nothing but determination on the face of what John Hunter has labeled a blue chip competitor. Ace Nation opening contest here on Overdrive. And I gotta tell you, I'm extremely vested in this one. Listen, we can talk about the accolades of Cade Love, about everything that he's done here in Ace, but I'm gonna say right now, I'm gonna say right now, that before the end of this year, Bulldog Pittman will hold a title here in Ace. Cheyenne, I'm not gonna lie to you, you're the one who put me on to what Bulldog Pittman was about. We're seeing him here in Ace, he's getting opportunity after opportunity to showcase who the hell he is, and he's doing a great job. Patterson, New Jersey native, takes on the man who believes in victory, or Valhalla. No, Cheyenne, uh, when, when, when Cade Lothrock made his return to Ace after the pandemic, he became a completely different man. Dropped over 100 pounds, the best shape of his life, and he's actually gained enough with his brawling ability. He's actually added agility and speed to his game, something that I did not expect ever to see from, from the former Stockade. This man's done it. You know, in, in the last couple of months, we've seen Cade going off the top rope. We've seen Cade throw submissions. We've seen him throw the haymakers. He's so well-rounded and versatile now. But in the opposite side of the ring, you have Bulldog Pittman, a man who has not bowed down from any challenge and will not be pushed around. Great collar and elbow tie up here as the veteran in the dominant position. He's got his opponent in the corner. Look at, that, look at that sight game. Look at that head game right there. You know, Lothbrock is the ace veteran. He's done it all here. He's been here over a decade. And Bulldog Pittman in his first full, you know, full-time full roster spot here in ace, trying to show himself to the, and many people say, the standard bearer of the ace locker room. Bulldog Pittman comes in with two earmark wins, whereas Kane Lothbrook is a true pillar of ace pro wrestling history. No show of respect there from Pittman. Here we go with the Greco-Roman knuckle lock here, looking to see. Oh, there's that pump fake right there. Cade Lockbrook, bait and switch. There's that speed that he's added to his style, his repertoire. Very talented individual is Lockbrook, but Bulldog Pittman reversed. And Lockbrook now the more dominant of the wrist lock. Going again to the knuckle lock. Oh, look at the raise. Great elevation. He could have just broken every one of the fingers on Pittman's hand. Could have dislocated that shoulder on the elevation classic. Pittman looking to back up here. Nice kip up. Versing over. And this is the blue chip potential that Bulldog Pittman has in him. He takes down Lothbrock. That kind of shocked me a little bit right there. Yeah, and he's tying him down. Not for long, but he is holding that arm. That's the left. Dog pound here in T-neck for overdrive this week. And we got a clean break for Cade went for the whip. Great elevation! Up and over backwards now. Big drop, right on the button, and the Ants Guardian is going to take a walk. Phenomenal agility, and Lothrock thought he was going to move away. He thought he was going to get use his speed that he added to his advantage, but Pittman one step ahead, and the... Lothrock taking a minute yeah. to regain his composure. Re-strategize your classic. Back in the ring now, the two competitors now circling up. Show respect there by Pittman. How about that? I don't know. Respect is not given, it is earned, and Pittman's got given that respect. Now reversing over here, Lothbrock rolling him through. Has that front fist looking at DDT. And Pittman knew it was coming. He has he has him way scouted and look at that. Cade let him know. You gotta give it to Pittman for knowing his opponent well enough to know that if you would have got laced up at the DDT, it would have been dead to rights. Collar and elbow tie up yet again, and Pittman has the height advantage, but uh, Cade has the experience. Nice shoulder tackle with authority. Jump it over. Oh, oh. oh my goodness. 
He really got railroaded with that clothesline. Right across the forehead. Hung him out to dry. Good grief. He had such a head of steam that he actually got clothesline almost under the ring. And now Lothbrook completely, completely showering in the control that he now possesses over his opponent. Pittman back in that buckle. Overhand chop. And remember, Cade has that southpaw style. He works everything from the left side, so Pittman has to prepare for unique fighting ability against him. He's throwing those left haymakers. Throat thrust right to the fit. Oh, unbelievable offense Shoot right now. Right to the stomach and then one right to the face. You said it better, Maya Classic. I got to put you over that. And, all right, no. Got him in the ribs. Hung on to him. Double offense. Great cradle there. You know, Cade's never been really known for being a combination style of wrestler, putting multiple strings of moves together. He's been doing so in this contest ever since his return to Ace. Phenomenal, phenomenal wrestling. I got to say that. Submission applied. Classic as horrible and as underhanded as you as an individual can be. <laughs> you have even I never condoned. That dark. You have never condoned some of the actions, even held and perpetuate and perpetrated by Cade Lofbrook. With that being said, you've never denied him in the ring. What's the biggest difference in this version I've, of I've, Cade I've never said a bad thing about Cade. Cade. Cade used to throw water bottles at Harder, not me. Well, that's true. You know, it, it, for as long as I've Whoa. been here, and as long as I've been, been calling matches and interacting with Cade Lofbrook, the man has always impressed me. It's just seeing him fly off the second rope, d driving a, a forearm shot right across the face. What, he looked over here, you got nerves, classic? You got nerves, the fact is Cade, I've never had seen that out of him. He has brought a new side of him, and he has been very, very talented he's since always, his return. He's always been talented, it's just now you guys want to want to jump on board. But he's some now challenging gone, it to the square circle. Some have gone as far as saying that Cade Lofbrook is the best competitor or not on television. Classic Cade right there taking a nibble on his opponent. A, a what? A nibble. You have a pit bull in the ring, so you got, you know, nibbles. You're such a dolt, you know that? Big forearm shots from... And, oh, oh! Pittman able to put the brakes... Oh! He didn't put the brakes on. Cade held him and threw a knee. That Hanson Lariat did not help his cause. I thought the exact same thing. You could hit that out of nowhere, and he just did it right there to Pittman. Pittman's taking a hell of a beating. I tell you, Pittman is going to have to totally, totally regain himself if he wants to take back control of the match and possibly still win. I don't know if you guys realize this one, but we, we've said it a couple of times about the veteran status of Kate Lovebrook. That means that Bulldog Pittman has tons of tape to study and prepare, knowing that he was going to have to have to face against Kate Lovebrook. But Kate's been throwing out some very innovative and new offense. Not the usual. Absolutely. You know, In I this honest... match alone, Kane has changed his arsenal. You know, I always... He's high-fiving that fan up there. He's a man of the people. I always thought you could never teach an old dog new tricks, and right now you're showing Kane Lothbrook is doing that. Perhaps he has that learned swan time that you alluded to earlier, Hardware. Here he goes! Oh! And that is in high quality in and out of itself. No water in the pool, as Classic would say. This is Overdrive. I'm Sean Ortiz. I'm joined by John Harder, by Classic Mikey D. This is your opening contest, a battle of two generations. Running forearm, following up. Bulldog out of the buckle. Great combination from Bulldog Pittman. This man's got blue chip all over. Glag, 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 glag. Ref Jerry in great position, and Bulldog Pittman. No imbecile, realizing that the miss of the Swanton was the opening he needed, and he's completely grounding Cade Lockbrook. Pittman needs to stay on the attack, Classic. Momentum is back, definitely swinging more towards Pittman after Cade Lopra. He crashed a bird quicker than Cheyenne at a singles bar. Beg your pardon. Forearm shiver from Pittman. Pittman's got Cade where he wants him. He has to stay on the attack. This is the inexperience of Pittman here. Hard whip. And, oh! A little do -si do into the swinging neck breaker. That's He's got the cover. There it is. No. Come on, Pittman, do not stare at the official. Stay on your opponent. Off the ropes. Shining elbow. That's what we call a Buzz Sawyer-like corkscrew elbow. Pittman's got to do it again here. He's got to stay on it. There it is again. There's a second one on the shining elbow. You know, when we talk about the pedigree of Cade here, it, it is, what would this do for Pittman if you were to get the win? Oh, I mean, not for nothing. Two! Three if Bulldog Pittman gets the cover tonight, I don't know about contention, but he's in the conversation of perhaps the Diamond Division or maybe the Ace Heavyweight. 
Stockade, Triple Crown winner. He just needs a big win under his belt and there's none bigger than Cade Lothbrook. And Lothbrook's going down. He's digging down deep. Oh! Oh, speaking of down deep, how about that basement drop kick? Oh! Shining Wizard by Bulldog Pittman. I mean, right, right across the center of the back. Great combination, only two. A lot of the pure saw offense being administered here by the Patterson, New Jersey native. Trying to get the dog pound here and T-neck behind him. This man is a county boy. Can he finish it off here? Oh, ducks a lot. Oh! Good grief, what a double clothesline. Both men are down on the canvas, prone. Can they answer the 10 count here? The pendulum, much like both competitors, at a stalemate right now here on Overdrive. Referee administering the 10 count. If now the man can get back to his feet, this will end in a draw. Ref well, Jerry in there. If Ref Jerry was so lenient with other contests that we've seen on this, this few episodes of Overdrive, he's gotta be for this one, because nobody wants to see a draw. Big knees up. Okay, now to the second. Diving off the second row. Good grief, what authority there. Cover one, two. I never say this about anybody doing a wrestling move, but that might be the greatest bulldog of the second rope I've ever seen. For the ride, perhaps you're an Augie time classic. Hit me no fighting out though. Went for the left arm, Lariato. Inverted atomic drop. Spinebuster. Oh, on. Great elevation of the spine buster. Pittman now slowing down a bit, but he gets the cover. And a tight, tight two. And the concern is all over the expression of Bulldog. Pittman's got to stay on it. He's got to stay in control. He has Cade right where he wants him. Irish whip. Caught. Oh, caught him. oh, does he have him? Does he have him? Death Valley driver. What wherewithal from Lothbrook. Two. No. He kicked out. He kicked out. Lothbrook caught him onto a fireman's carry and drilled him to the canvas like a screwdriver. Unbelievable. Only two. Incredible reflexes by the former Devil's Outlaw. But this could be it for the dog pound. Oh, oh there's still some devil inside of him. Don't be fooled. Oh, right. look at that agility. Push off. Oh, took him down. Pounce! Complete collision. Period. Put him away, Pittman. Mr. Harder, you know you have to be biased here at the broadcast booth. You're rooting on no, the man. I will always rejoice when I see a pounce in a wrestling ring. I have to agree with John on that one. But you know, we're in trouble. Well, gentlemen, maintain your composure because the action is still happening. Neither man has fallen to the count of three yet here on Overdrive. And speaking of which, we still have our, our Overdrive main event to follow this. That's right, Anthony and go to Asriel. Fire no, the pick up. DDT. Shoots half. Cover one, two, three. Here is your winner. Incredible, stellar, stellar. Pittman still one win away from